incredible guest at the desk. She is a Golden Globe nominee for her work in the hit musical series, Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. And just in time for the holiday season, the whole cast is back for an encore in the brand new TV movie, Zoe's Extraordinary Christmas. Take a look. You're reading my mind right now, aren't you? You're reading mine, and you definitely don't want to do something just the two of us. I, it, it's all, it's all really nice, Max. Truly. It's just... What? I don't want to not think about my dad and be apart from my family for the holidays. It's not the Clarkson doesn't feel right. I want us all to be together and have the most Mitch Christmas ever. Oh my goodness, oh. please welcome. to be here. I'm such a big fan of both of you. Oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for coming and gracing us with your presence and bringing holiday cheer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, mega hit, Golden Globe nomination. I love yeah. it. People love the show. Critical acclaim. It stops on NBC and then you guys get together for this wonderful closure. I almost think that maybe this isn't closure, like maybe this is a thing that can go on and on and on. You heard it here. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we're starting first with Christmas. Yeah, well, this is all because of the fans. Uh, they were so enthusiastic and unwavering in their support for the show, and then Roku picked us up, so thank you so much. But I heard for this movie you only had like four days to. Rehearse for all of the dancing? That is correct. How did you do what? it? What? We just did it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what we had, and yeah, that's what we did. So you just drill it into your mind, and you're like, we're gonna get this. Yeah. How? Uh, I guess that's why they call it extraordinary. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, it is. Congratulations. Jane, would you like to do some headlines with us? Absolutely. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. Good. okay. Well, Jane, it is your story. All right, I've got a very hot topic. Okay. And that is regifting. Oh. So, Real Simple says there's no shame in the regifting game. Just because a gift isn't right for you doesn't mean it's not perfect for somebody else. They even suggest keeping a special drawer of regiftables all year long so you can match them <laughs> with the perfect person later. And tis the season to be sustainable, and this stuff saves stuff from the landfill. There's no shame in regifting. You know how many people have given me a candle? Thank you so much, but I'm just one man. So, you know, they, they, if it's somebody's birthday or the holiday or something, and we run into someone, accident, someone pops over, oh, like, just for you. But you, the problem with regifting is you do have to sell the backstory, right? And, like, I tend to oversell it. Like, um, I panic. Like, oh, I was, um, I was at the mall, and um, I saw it, and it's pink, and I know that it's pink. And so I was like, oh, I'm going to get it for drinks. Anyway, I hope you love it. So you're a regifter and a fibber. Totally will lie to your face. Yeah. <laughs> Jane, how do you feel about regifting? If someone gives me a gift that I maybe won't use, because maybe I already have a set of headphones or something, I think give it to somebody, but not as their birthday present. Be like, I was gifted this, it's just a random Tuesday, and I can't use this, and I love you, so take this. But I think if it's like, this is your grand Christmas present, I probably wouldn't regift in that way. Okay, now, then I'm more with you because I do, if I get something that, I, we're not banging up against you, Rossi. I'm you feeling create. a little judged, I have to say. <laughs> Just a skosh. All right, and finally, we're celebrating Hanukkah in today's food news. Hey, food news. <laughs> now, Jane, um, my daughters are half Jewish, and we celebrate Hanukkah and Christmas. Is it true that you grew up the same way? I did, yeah. And if only you knew that what we're about to eat is my favorite food. <gasps> really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, In the Know reports that the latest remix on the latka is the fried pickle <gasps> latka. Okay. I mean, you had me at latka, and now you have me even deeper with pickle. It's a traditional latka stuffed with a dill pickle. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. This is my definition of heaven. Oh my God. This is a whole latka flavor. <laughs> that pickle is next level. It gives it a saltiness, a brininess, a tang. Yeah. Like a salty starch 
in a mm. creamy salt is just what I want to eat at all times. Oh my God. Um, it's interesting. How come pickles and potatoes are not like the hot new couple? Why are they not a thing? <laughs> um, can I ask you guys a question? Yeah. Since um, Zoe's extraordinary um, Christmas is coming out, um, can each one of us recommend a holiday movie? Oh, I love that. I, uh, I was more into spooky season, so like the nightmare before Christmas was more my vibe. Uh, that's yeah, perfect. That's okay. Um, okay. Um, Ross, what about you? This, What's your this recommendation? This Christmas, I'm, I'm making myself watch holiday classics I've never seen before, like Miracle on 34th Street, I've never seen it. It's a Wonderful Life, I've never seen it. What? I know. I know. What? I said I'm doing the work, okay? <laughs> My uncle, Lionel Barrymore, is Potter in okay. the wheelchair. Okay. I will know that reference He's, when I watch it. My great uncle, Lionel, wow. is the villain. He's the bad man in It's a Wonderful Life, and he really? was in a wheelchair in real life. Fun fact. Wow. I mean, not a fun fact, but. But I get it. Well, I, when I watch it, I'll be like, oh, hey, uncle. Okay. And then, but I think my favorite is A Christmas Story, the one that yeah. airs on TV all day long on Christmas Day. It's, it's a just, classic. Yeah, and it makes me feel like it's Christmas. I'm going to go with Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Oh, wow. Every year. All really? The time. I love it so much. It's the greatest. Jane Levy, I'm so glad that you came to eat latkes and talk Hanukkah and Christmas and Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist and Zoe's Extraordinary Christmas. <laughs> and we can't wait to continue to celebrate you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Zoe's Extraordinary Christmas on Roku Channel, December 1st. All the fans are going to be lining up.